Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Simpson once again as he takes on a freeloading Sovtard who refuses to pay his rent. And, well, it doesn't exactly work out too well in the favor of this particular Sovtard. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Mr. Weiss, really? All right. Group 5 versus Roderick Smith. Morning, Your Honor. Bob Weiss appearing on behalf of Group 5. Your name, sir? How are you doing, Your Honor? Roger. Thank you. All right, where are we, Jim? The last time we were here, the last time we were here, you told us to go out in the hall and uh, make I an arrangement. Uh, at that point in time, I agreed uh, with Mr. Smith to waive the late fees, but not the month, the month fees. Uh, we have prepared a consent judgment at that point in time for $1,755, uh, which includes two seventeen dollars in court costs, plus the January's rent and the month-to-month -month fee. He was to have paid it by January 29th, 2024. He hasn't paid it yet. What, do you actually expect these soft arts to actually pay their bills? Uh, no, they're a bunch of freeloaders that think they can get away with anything for free. They think anybody who has to pay for rent, food, anything like that are nothing but a bunch of suckers. But of course, these are the kinds of people that actually believe that there's a billion dollar trust in their name out in the ether somewhere that there's some secret way to break into or something like that, that uh, nobody wants to tell them it's because it's all hush hush. Well, that's the kind of people you're dealing with. So we're, we're, we're here right now in January, and I'd like the ability to add the um, February's rent and late charge to that amount. Because January, uh, February's rent has not been paid either. Well, but you said you had the judgment, but you didn't enter that. I didn't sign that judgment. No, you, you didn't sign the judgment. I, I had submitted it to the court. Uh, the court set it up for hearing because they wanted to uh, put the consent on the record. I have the judgment here, uh, but the time for payment of that amount has expired. So I didn't know what the court wanted to do. All right. Sir, what's your position? Yeah, yeah. So um, I agree with the, the terms uh, of what's owed, but I would like to certify my rights of subrogation and settle the account. Yeah, please tell me you misused that word. If you didn't, uh, well, you are a complete and total moron for not having the ability to understand what that word actually means. Oh, boy. And it has nothing to do with rent. Do what? Uh, certify my rights under sub subrogation and what settle the account. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? What does that mean? Uh, in equity, settle this account because this is has to do with equity. That's, that's to do with non-payment of rent. Yeah, still, it's equity. That's what we're dealing with. <clears throat> so I do have a right to subrogation. And I would like to okay. certify my rights to sure. subrogation and so settle the account. You have a right to subrogation, you're saying? Correct. Explain that to me. Explain it to me. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what it is, Your Honor. It's, it's my right. So you're unable to explain what this right is. So therefore, yeah, you haven't even studied, have you? Typical soft hard BS. Failure to study. That's at the heart of a lot of your uh, issues, isn't it? The inability to do, well, any research whatsoever. And that includes 
Every single soft hard out there, not just you. I mean, explain, I would assume explain what that the court would understand. Explain what that what you think that means. When a third party intervenes to take place or pay. Okay, so who's the third party? Uh, basically, it's under my estate where they administrate the, the, the claim from. What estate? My all caps name. Dude, just because something is in all caps doesn't mean that it's a corporation. I mean, just the other day, I was traveling down the road looking at uh, various businesses, and uh, which are corporations in this particular scenario. Um, a lot of them had uh, capital, all capital letters. Some of them actually had their first letter capitalized and nothing else. And then I saw street names. I saw a lot of street names that were capitalized, and others that uh, just had the first letter capitalized. I wonder if those streets are also corporations, because if they are corporations, well, then they would be uh, able to sue anybody that runs over them. Yeah, yeah, I know that's a bad joke. I, I, Yeah, go ahead and let me have it. They're all caps name. Right. Okay. So... First of all, under what you just explained to me, there is no right of subrogation. So there's, there's, we can't settle the account under subrogation? You can settle not under subrogation. I don't, what you've explained is not subrogation. I mean, if you want me to actually give you the definition. Oh, I understand what subrogation means. I was oh, okay. checking whether you do, because what you're saying is not subrogation. So well, that's how I would like to settle the account. Yeah. Well, settling the account and subrogation are two separate things. Okay. So if you want to settle the account, you need to pay it. Okay. It's as simple as that. All right. No problem. Okay. So, Mr. Weiss, with February's rent, how much is owing? Uh, with February's rent, sticking to the deal that Mr. Smith and I made last week. Uh, waiving the $225 in prior late fees, not including February's late fee, which is now due. Um, Mount owing would be $31.93, which includes the $217 in court costs. $31.93. Can I get a statement of that as well? Well, I'll put it in, in the judgment. All right. And how much time does he have to get that paid? Ten days. You could allow me, Your Honor. Uh, I can give him up to the 20th. Just, okay, Mr. Weiss, fine. don't interrupt. Go ahead. What? Yeah, that's fine. To the, uh, the 20th. I'll, I'll give him to the 20th. That should be enough time. So you're not disputing the figure? No, sir. And the parties are agreeable and the court would agree to go to the 20th of February. Correct. Campaign. All right. Uh, the court will bear with me. I will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate, I'm going to find that there's no tribal issue after hearing rather than a consent judgment. And I will enter that judgment. Right. So you'll have till that date to get yes. that paid. You okay. understand that? Yes. Yeah, something tells me that in this, this soft heart is not exactly good for that. Wasn't that easier in the last case, Your Honor? Not really. It almost went. Um, I know you made a face when I come up here. Let him, let him take a look at it. Oh. So, All right. It's also a money you, judgment. You've looked at you've looked at over. Yes, sir. All right. You have any questions regarding anything contained on this? No, sir. All right. So I'm going to sign this, okay? And then if you need a copy, you can pick up a copy up front at the front counter. Okay. Okay. All right. I signed off. I'll enter that judgment. You guys are all set. All right. Thank all right. You. Thank you. Yeah.
Yeah, so the soft heart has 10 days to pay that off, or there's a possibility of eviction. Yeah, I think that the soft heart is screwed in this particular scenario, because if he hasn't paid before, what makes you think that he's going to pay now? So yeah, most likely eviction time for that soft heart. Yeah, dude, you got to pay your bills. You just can't be a lazy frauditor and expect uh, this so-called trust to pay everything for you because it's not going to happen. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?